So has your hockey season been cut short this year? Let's talk about three things you can still do off ice as a goalie coming up next. Voice over goalie. Hey, Wayne the voiceover goalie here. My channel is all about bringing you awesome goalie content. So if you've liked, subscribed, or commented on one of my videos, you are totally awesome. COVID-19. So with the NHL postponing the rest of the season due to COVID-19, and more likely than not, the rest of the hockey world kind of following suit, you might not have the opportunity to play hockey, let alone watch hockey on TV. And yeah, it's a total bummer, right? I mean, I feel the same way. You know, around North America and the world, we're all having to endure this pandemic. And if everyone is being forced to stay home, you know, the last thing that you want to do is not be able to enjoy your favorite sport on TV. But if you've watched my videos in the past, you probably know me as a positive, glass half full kind of guy. And so I thought, well, what are some things that we can do as goalies off ice, you know, to still feel connected to the game while we're on our short hiatus from playing and watching the sport we love? So I'm going to tell you three things that I plan on doing over the next coming weeks and months. But before we get started, if there's something you plan on doing on your break, let us all know in the comments below. So the first thing I'm going to do is gear maintenance. If you're like me and you're playing in your beer league, you probably have the opportunity to play every week year round. And that kind of schedule can really wear on your gear, right? You might never have the time to take care of some of the things that you need to fix. So having a built-in break can give you some time to do some things with your gear that you've been meaning to do for a long time. One, like wash your gear, and then have ample time to let it dry. But also perform those mods on your gear that you've always wanted to do. And not worry so much that if you mess things up that you're not going to have your gear ready for your next game. I mean, I for one have some big plans over the next few weeks involving this and this but also really critically thinking about how your gear functions and if there are certain tweaks or other things you can do to improve how it plays for you in your game, right? So say for example, your chest and arm never really fit properly. Maybe it's a good time to readjust all the strapping on your unit to get a snugger, more close fit to your body. Or maybe your leg pads were a little too tall or a little too short. You know, throwing half your gear on in your living room and taking some time to play around with your strapping might just help you when you return on the ice. And you don't have to worry so much about how it will affect your game on a immediate basis, right? I know a lot of goalies don't like to tweak their stuff during the midseason because they're afraid that it will negatively impact how they play on a week-to-week -week basis. But you know, when you take an extended break, and I'm speaking from experience here, when you get back on the ice, there are certain things you have to reacclimate yourself to. And so those minor tweaks in your gear, how you strap your pads or other things with your equipment, won't be so noticeable. And that brings us to point number two. Sometimes your body just needs a break to heal itself. You know, we're all not professional athletes, and most of us don't have athletic trainers at our disposal. And we play the sport because we love it and we're passionate about it. So sometimes we play through those small nagging injuries, and because of our schedules, they never seem to get better, right? So take a look at this break as a way to give your body some time to heal. You know, a number of years ago, I took a slap shot to the side of my ankle. And while it didn't break any bones, it was a nagging injury for like the better part of a year. And that was because I just didn't have time to rest it and let it heal on its own. So an imposed break that's out of your control can really help you recharge physically. But it extends farther than that, right? I mean, mental burnout is a real thing. Sometimes being a goalie feels more like a chore or a job than it is fun. And over time, that can build up to anxiety and dread. So sometimes taking a break can help reignite that spark and help you remember why you enjoy being a goalie in the first place. And along those same lines is tip number three. And that is tap into the online resources in the goalie community. If you're like me, you could easily spend two or three hours watching an NHL game, right? But now that that's not really an option, it doesn't mean that you still can't consume awesome goalie content. And to be fair here, I'm not just talking about my videos. There are thousands of hours of other goalie content out there, whether that be goalie training videos, off-ice videos, other beer leaguers, equipment reviews. I mean, the list goes on and on. So having some extra time to watch goalie content can really help you develop your game or even give you a different perspective as to where you're at with your particular style and playing habits. So don't just watch my videos, watch like everybody's videos. 
learn what other people are saying about specific gear or specific goaltending techniques, or just watch some of these videos for pure entertainment. I mean, regardless of how old it is, I could watch Jim Park's The Puck Stops Here video series, which I'll link right up here, like, for hours. And remember, goalie friends, be safe out there. And if that means in your next few games you give the blocker fist bump at the end of the game in the handshake line, hey man, that's okay. But if you're new to my channel, then consider watching some of these videos over here. And aside from these videos, one of my goals in the upcoming weeks is to do a lot more live streaming. You know, where you and I can hang out and, you know, just talk goalie. So stay safe out there. And remember, you are totally awesome.